Hey, orange one here. So uh, we are back in the woods. Um, I actually haven't played this game in months, like for real months. And I'm just trying to figure out what we were doing. Looks like we were depressed. We had our little couch right there and we got some zombies, quite a few of them around here. I think from what I remember, we were trying to get up to the farms that are way up this way. Um, so yeah, we're going to work on that. That's our goal for this episode, is to avoid the zombies and to go up north. And this dude and these guys, yeah, we're going to have to just be a little bit careful. Maybe get a couple steps ahead of them there, just so they're not having a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a long day for this guy. I can't even remember his name, to be honest. I just remember he was like an outdoorsman. And uh, I remembered a little bit about clearing out some neighborhoods down there. And that I wanted to get out of the city because it's just a little bit too much here. There's just too many zombies, you know, honestly. I mean, if you, if you look at this, we got probably, I'd say, like 30 to 40 zombies following us right about now. And not all of them are really close, but... And we can outwalk them, is the other thing, is so... We may be tired and whatnot. These guys, they are giving us actually plenty of space. So as long as I run a little bit at the end, I should, in theory, be able to lose them. So my plan is, because I basically looked on the map, if you're unaware, Project Zomboid has a really good map, but you don't have an in-game map. It's uh, something that you gotta uh, go look on a browser. So I familiarized myself a little bit with the basic outline of the town. Does that zombie have something in them? Hold on. That one's like stabbed with something, I swear. Yeah, they've been stabbed with like some scissors. They've got like some scissors in their back. That's pretty cool. I do like how they added that in with the new zombie um, animations build. How they can just be like covered in stuff. We do have a considerable amount still following us. I would like to lose them relatively soon. Maybe we, we need to just book it a little bit. Because we are getting weighed down because we are wet as well. So I think I'm just going to run because we're starting to get to where it's thinner. I think that we can lose these guys. Just get our breath down a little bit. And it is actually raining so we do have that noise as cover as well. But I think we got a few of them still falling. We still also have some up here. Unpleasantly hot. So it's raining and I'm too hot. What weapon do I have right now? I've got a uh, crowbar. Actually in great condition. So I could use that to take out the few that are following us. I just think that we've got quite a few behind that we're going to need to take out. And I'm not really sure what to do about them. So we're going to delay the inevitable. And just keep on moving up. Because I think, I think the farmsteads that I'm looking for are through these woods. But I'm not exactly sure where. We could just cut through the woods. But I'm just worried that we're going to run into something doing that. I mean, I think we're going to have to do it eventually. Okay, there's a little dirt patch over there. I do kind of want to check that out. Yeah, let's cross over. So the ones that are following us, at least we can lose them that way. Because I don't think they're going to turn like that unless they saw me. Okay, and now we have a lot less zombies to worry about. But we also have the concern that we're still hungry. And we don't have a shelter. And we got some water. We got a hammer. There's just some blood in this field. No big deal. I think I'm going to try and go this way. I don't know if that's west or what, but kind of go down there and see if we can find a house or a farm or something, because we're going to need some, some sort of building supplies. We are only able to sleep out in the open because we are uh, claustrophobic. That being said, I still want a barn nearby, because that'll be good for us if we're um, building materials and, and whatnot. Okay, there is a house right there. 
This is perfect. Like, this is literally what... What I was hoping to find. Um, I kind of want to check out further up in the field. I think that we could probably clear this place out and call it home. There's even a, uh, a van. A win well, it's got windows in the very back. I was going to say it's a windowless van, but it's got windows. Okay, well, we have a van. Uh, can I... Try and open that. I tried to press E, but it didn't work. I suspect these are all locked. We're also gonna need to be listening, because there could just be a zombie that's in the surrounding area. I mean, there's a bunch of them by the river that were following us. I think that we're good, though. I don't think they took the turn with us, but... All we need is a helicopter to come check us out, and those zombies are gonna be... on top of us real quick. Okay, this TV, uh, we could turn off, right? There we go. Just the noise, you know. Okay, there's, there's no zombies around here. And we have a red pen, thank goodness for a red pen. Uh, any food? Because we are hungry right now. There is some some stuff. Like canned sardines. Can I open that and then just eat it? Hello cat. I don't know if you guys heard, but my cat just jumped on my lap and is uh joining us for this. Open sardines. Yeah, I know you're probably excited about that, huh? Huh, messy girl. Yeah. The happy little sardines. It does make me nervous having you on my lap playing the game that we are playing, though. I might have to react suddenly, and if that's the case, I don't want Cat getting in my way. Uh, take the peas. There's ice cream. Go ahead and eat all of that. And I mean, I don't think we need to grab the furniture and set it up outside just quite yet. But we will probably do that here, seeing how things are going so well for us. We even have a book and some newspaper. We're dry right now. While we have some sunlight. Uh, let's see, what's the time right now? I know that we have a way of measuring time, don't we? We've got an alarm clock. The current time is 20. That's what, like, 8 o'clock? It's actually turning to be night. While that's the case, I kind of want to just see what else we got around here, housewise. Looks like there's a barn or something, or like a big house, right there. I suspect we're gonna have some zombies then. Yeah. There's a couple. Do we work on clearing them out? I feel like we should. I just kind of also want to see where the main road is, because uh, the fact that there's a house over there means that there's probably some road. Okay, there is it is actually a barn. I thought it was like a large house, um, but it's actually a barn. Pretty sweet. It's good to know. Um, sorry, I think I just got a text message. I just need to check it really quick. Give me a second. It's easier. You just have you guys pause for a second then to pause the video and then come back. Okay, it's just actually someone watching a video. Um, I'm actually going to turn my phone on to Do Not Disturb because I don't need it talking to me right now. And I don't know if you guys watch the Kenshi series or not, but I think a couple times I've been like recording and I said okay and then like that whole menu pops up. Okay, this looks like a farm, for sure. So there's a barn, there's some zombies. I think what we want to do is work on clearing out these guys and then looting the barn area. I suspect that's going to actually probably be where we set up our base. I might even try growing some stuff soon. Okay, that one almost died up. Okay. 
Thumbs down. Yeah, the nice thing about the rain is it provides good noise cover from us, and it makes it harder for them to see us. Okay, come on, don't lag on me now. Okay, that one's actually got a digital watch. Can I take that? That's actually better than, um... than what we've been using. Okay, I think that we can take a deep breath. We've got a pretty good setup out here. We just need to get that barn and whatnot cleared out and hope the river zombies don't come our way. Let's try and pull this one. I think we can pull you over here without getting your friend, yeah. Okay, your friend's kind of facing our way, so uh... Okay, they're actually coming our way. Oh, jeez. That one actually bite me. That was weird. Okay, we're actually good. But now we've got two zombies. They're right next to each other coming after us. That's gonna be annoying. I think we're gonna wanna lose them. And we're actually also wet, so we're weighed down a little bit. Maybe we should go back to our little house. Why don't one of you get stuck on that tree? I think that we... No. Never mind. Let's just go back up to our house. We can handle two zombies. want to try and separate them as much as we can. Uh, those ones by the barn. I'd rather not have them see us right now. We will go back down there, though. We'll be McDonald on his, his little zombie farm. Hey, come on. I believe in you. I think they go a little bit faster when they get like this. No? We could try knocking it over. Let's try pushing this one. Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't gonna work. Ugh, this is annoying, actually. Actually, pretty darn annoying. Let's try and run them through the woods a little bit and see if we can lose one of them. Or if we can separate the pair. Because I think if we could do that, then we got this. Rain or sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are they? See, now my problem is that they're in the the woods around our house. That may be worse than what we originally had there as a situation. There's one right there. I just saw him in the woods. He's just like right here. I don't know where his friend is though. There. You can see me, right? There we go. Come my way. I think we lost your friend. I think I can handle you, even though I'm wet. We might want to dry off in the building before we try and take out the other one. But we definitely do want to take care of the other one before we try and sleep. Come on, go down, Lumberjack. Timber, come on. Jeez, come on. Hey, Lumberjack shirt. Sure. It's actually called that. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to take care of this one, too. We are moist. But I don't think we're out of breath. So I think that we're okay. We're just gonna fight a zombie in a puddle. I do have to say, I do like the puddle effect that they have here. Okay. Alright, so those two are down. I'm gonna just at least dry off in the house for a little bit. And then we'll see what we do from there. Things are going. Things are happening. I'm actually pretty impressed that we actually got things working the way we do. Okay, yeah, these puddles are super cool. I like that a lot. Let's just go indoors and have a panic attack slash dry off. You know. How we do. Can I tear these up into, like, um... Yeah. I have a hammer. 
I would like to be able to disassemble it completely. If I take my hammer out... <clears throat> and I disassemble it... Chance of success is pretty low. Well, it doesn't hurt, does it? It is going to make some noise, though. So we do need to be careful about that, because we could be attracting the whole neighborhood. AKA the river zombies. That's what I'm terrified of right now, but if they come my way, as long as I'm mobile, we'll be okay. Oh wait, look. Nails and planks. Are there any, is there anything else? Unusable wood. Really? We get no fabric from that? That's a mattress. What do you mean there's no fabric? So go ahead and equip the crowbar, because better weapon. And then we can put maybe the tree branch away. Maybe we'll keep the hammer out because that's a nice like emergency weapon. It is actually nighttime right now, which means I probably don't want to go and attack those zombies. But I think we can uh, get set up with a chair outside. I don't think we're going to be sleeping in here. No. Not realistically. How do we do this again? We can like m pick it up, can't we? Or is that in the construction menu? Is that how it works? Uh, oh, we need a saw. What if sworn that there was a a way to move like stuff? We just did it like, yeah, it's like this, isn't it? Pick up. Can I go pick that up? Yeah. Here we go. I can pick this up and then put it outside and we'll have something to sleep in. It is going to be annoying because it's going to be a, just like some wooden uh, chair that's outside. And it's completely exposed to elements, so we're going to get wet. Um... Maybe turn off the lights, maybe. Yeah, it just makes me a little nervous having those lights on. It also makes me nervous trying to sleep on this wooden thing when we got so many zombies around, like right by at the barn, and there's possibly some at the river. I'm just gonna do a quick visual check. I don't think we've got many choices right now. I think we're just gonna have to sleep here. You panic, but let's just wait a little bit. That panic should go down. Can I open this? If I do that. Yes, I can. So I actually have not even played around with vehicles. It looks like when I press W, I'm getting that sign. Okay, well, it's empty on gas. I can lock doors, battery. You no key for this car found. Huh. So you need to like click down here. Okay, well, we have a car that we can sit in. If I sit in the car, can I sleep in the car? That might be better than just sleeping on the chair. If I'm right clicking, I'm getting nothing. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you can't sleep in a car. Which doesn't really make sense. Because you should be able to sleep in it. What if I look at that. Oh, it looks, it just shows me what's in the trunk. Okay. And then does that just get me into the same menu? No, it doesn't. Oh, so it's got the glove box. Interesting. I can't switch seats. Doesn't look like I can switch seats. I can look at what's under the hood. I do know that there's like a menu or something when you look at vehicles under... Yeah. You can see the different conditions. Um, I don't really know what the colors mean or anything. Imagine red is bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Something for us to play around with if we turn this into a long-term series. 
Okay, we get actually the same menu as going from the other side, so maybe it is the same seat as what we were looking at earlier. Can't sleep outside in a bed while it's raining. Well, that's a shame. Can't sleep inside, can't sleep outside either. The game just doesn't want me to be able to sleep. I think we're just going to have to wait then. Can I... I'm just going to go inside the car because we won't be panicked. I would hit the wait button, but I think... Oh! Hold on. Stopped raining. As soon as I started to wait in the car, the game was like, Nope, I'm done. You're good. Okay, please don't die in your sleep. I don't want to end the episode like that. Or this series. Yeah, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know. For me, it feels a similar fix to my Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series. Though I don't feel like particularly compelled to play it. But I do have to say this is like one of the indie games that got me started, so I am also happy to play in that regard. Oh, I, what happened there? What did I just press? Um, can I eat the cockroach? I can. I'm gonna grab that and do something vile. We're gonna microwave the cockroach. And then we'll see about killing some zombies. Hey man, don't judge me, okay? Uh, so let's see, cockroach, put that in the microwave. And we're gonna turn that on. Now please don't burn. That's how this works, right? If I look at my settings, where are the settings on? on defrost. I don't want it on defrost, I want it like that. Oh, it's actually cooked. Grab it, grab it. Okay, cool. It actually, oh that's neat, it like stopped it before it was gonna get burnt. So does it auto detect that and cook the little things less time like an actual microwave? Oh, we could watch some TV as well, we could do that. I don't feel like watching TV though. I feel like having our heart attack subside a little bit and maybe checking out what's around us. We got that house right there. I do kind of want to see. Yeah, we got. It looks like a zombie right there that we should clear out. I think I'm just going to kind of work out from here, work on clearing these guys out. I do want to check out that barn though. That did seem like a good, nice, empty spot. Okay, this looks like very good place to loot. Is that? I like your hat there, bro. Oh my gosh, it fell off. Police helmet. Our resistance is pretty much non-existent compared to our hat. I'm not seeing right now. Weight, insulation. Condition dirty. But it has some insulation, whereas this has water resistance. Maybe we should just grab that for now. It might be good when it rains to have that hat, is all I'm saying. I love that animation with the hat coming off, though. That was super cool. These houses, man. These are big. We got a number of options. There are four zombies down there. Makes me a little bit nervous, but if that's all I have to fight to clear out this area, we'll be golden. Can I pull one of them? I run a little bit. No. There we go. We got two of them coming our way. Well, I'll take it. Nope, we got all four. Never mind. Not gonna do that. We'll dip around these trees, lose them, and then we'll see about fighting them again. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I am gonna dip behind the trees, though, and see if that helps me separate these two. They would like to do it 1v1. This is a game that rewards patience. Let's just say that. 
At least that's been my experience with it. If you rush in without planning, not good. But if you if you plan things out, you can very easily manage and distract a very large group. I mean, if I really become like more of a pyromaniac character, it's actually pretty easy to distract them with fire. Okay, yeah, see, they've stopped. So easy to uh, pull and separate if you've got a group that size. Okay, looks like we're good. I think we can take you on, honey. And I think also the fact that we're not panicked or tired or wet or anything is going to make us a lot more effective now than we were going to be last night. Uh, I just heard some zombies, but I'm pretty sure that we're clear around besides this dude. Yeah, we're good. Come here. Okay. Brown necklace. Not really interested. Where are your friends? They're gonna both see us, essentially, unless I can kind of go over here and pull the one that's facing and not the one that's not facing us. Yeah, see that one I, I want to get without getting you. Can I get nice and close and get that one's attention? Yes, I can. That's another nice little strategy. And then I'm gonna try and get away before the other one turns and faces us. Yeah. Good. Very nice. Easy. Almost. And yeah, we're getting we're getting a hang of how comfortable I am attacking what groups of what size and pulling them. Okay, the other one is coming, so we gotta be quick. Okay, but we were quick, so we're fine. Yeah, come here. My clothes are filthy. I just first, like looked at my clothes and realized how disgusting they are. Okay, so we got the ones that were out front. That means there's probably still some up by the barn, and there could be some inside the house as well. So I'm not going to go into the house until I've got the surrounding area cleared off a little bit more. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we can forage for more food. Um, we do need to get into that house relatively soon. Oh, is this... Okay, that's a little shed. That could have some good stuff in it, but there's also two zombies. And here's the field and the barn. Well, we we saw some easy to manage number of zombies here, so I feel I feel like it'd be wrong of me to not try and clear them out first, and then we'll go to the others. And I get Blue's attention without yeah, the others. I think that that's probably good. And I just want to check out my surroundings too. We look like we're clear. Yeah, there are at least two, and then the barn, and then the house. You know, you gotta do your rounds. Like, quite literally. You gotta go all the way around the structure, make sure you're good, and then you can head in. Man, I do have to say, like, Cataclysm, I, I really enjoy it. Like imagining things in that game, but it is cool just the zombie vibe and aesthetic and the look and everything and seeing that. Ooh, look, radish seeds. See, this is what we need is we need some seeds. We got the river close by. We should be able to make this work. Uh, there's another crowbar in there. Okay, so there's seeds here. So it would be nice to have something closer. So I think we're going to need to get some sort of rain catchment system up with those seeds, but if we can get radishes growing here, I think that should probably be one of our first goals. After, you know, clearing out the zombies. Um, but if we can get, like, a good supply of water... There was one behind the barn there, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. But we're going to want to pool... Okay, we can pool, I think, skinhead dude and head zombie. Yeah. And we'll pull you down here. We'll clear you out. And then probably go for the others in the barn. But it, we're getting near half an hour. So I think we're probably just going to take this one out. And then we'll continue with the others in the next episode. If, 
if you guys are enjoying this, that is. Dude's got some muscles. Look at that left arm, or right arm of his, my, my left. Look at that. Dude's buff. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.